1-9. AM 560, the answer. With the power of Tandem HR, you are in the fast lane on Main Street with Get Down to Business with Shalom Klein, the show for business and jobs. Now, the champion of networking, the advocate of jobs, the guru of business, your host, Shalom Klein. Pay it forward. How often have we heard that line? But this week, take it seriously and practice what you preach. It's time to pay it forward in your business environment. We are all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. That's right. We talk a lot about small business on this program. You're listening to Get Down to Business, and I'm your host, Shalom Klein. Remember, you can always get on my website, shalomklein.com. That's where you can download podcasts from this week past guests and find out who's going to be on next week on the show that's all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship while you're on my website at shalomkline.com don't forget to follow me on twitter at shalomkline it's going to be a jam-packed week of content and information you won't want to miss first up on the program we have mark sandburn who's going to be sharing some tips from his book and his recent uh chicago talk um and we'll get to him in just a moment but remember get down to business is powered by tandem hr your solution center you can find them at tandemhr.com or call 630-928-0510 that phone number again is 630-928-0510 you can also email them simplify at tandemhr.com so uh, mark sandburn welcome to the program ah shalom nice to be with you Fantastic. So you were recently uh, out here in the Windy City, and uh, you had a, a fantastic crowd of people uh, sort of hanging on every word from your recent book. Uh, tell us, what uh, what is the one line from your book that you find resonates most with, uh, with uh, perhaps your audience when you speak around the country? I think over time, the one line from the Fred Factor that resonates most is that nobody can prevent you from choosing to be extraordinary. You know, we all have ordinary moments and ordinary days, but it's how we fill the moments. It's what we choose to do with those moments that turns them into extraordinary. And even if you weren't taught it or encouraged to do it, rewarded for it or recognized for it, ultimately you still have that choice. It's not limited to anyone of any social economic uh, background or any demographic. It's a a choice available to all of us. So, Mark, that leads me to the next question, uh, which is something I've always uh, sort of struggled with is we talk on this program a lot about business leaders and leadership in general. Do you think that anybody can be a leader? Is it in somebody's DNA, or is it something that's learned over time? I think anybody can learn to lead, but very seldom does anyone do anything they aren't motivated to do. So when you say, can anyone be a leader, I would say anyone that truly has a desire to lead, can learn the skills. Now, some people probably have a uh, family of origin or genetic predisposition to leadership, just like certain people have a certain predisposition to a sport because of their build. But that doesn't mean that uh, just because you're not very tall, you, you can't play basketball. You can still learn the skills of basketball. You may never be in the NBA, but you can still become a good <laughs> basketball player. And I would say the same thing is true about leadership. You may never become a uh, a uh, Bill Gates or a Larry uh, 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 Ellison at Oracle, but you can still learn to be a very effective leader and make a positive difference in your organization and your community. We're chatting with Mark Sandburn, and Mark, you go around the country, inspire a lot of people, but mostly I think more than anything, what I took out of your talk is that you are enabling people to sort of inspire themselves, and I think our listeners will understand in a moment. But Mark, what's your story? How did you get started? I got started in speaking when I was 10 years old. I entered a youth contest and did so badly and was so disappointed in myself. I threw everything I had into learning how to speak. Of course, at that age, I didn't have a whole lot to talk about except what I read from others. And so after I uh, graduated from college and spent some time in sales and marketing, I developed my own intellectual content, started writing books and speaking full time. And that's been some 29 years ago. I just really like ideas that can be used uh, in the service of others. Good ideas can not only inform us, but inspire us and enrich us. And through my speaking and my writing, that's what I try to do. Do you learn from the people uh, that you network with and that you uh, encounter throughout your travels? 
I do indeed. And, and one of my dear friends, uh, regrettably deceased, Charlie Tremendous Jones, famously said, you will be in five years different than you are today based on the people you meet and the books you read. So networking is a big part of that because not only are the people you meet part of networking, but the people you meet will turn you on to good books. So there's a virtuous cycle if you pick the right people and the right books. So tell us about your book. Tell us what else, uh, what other rich content is included that, uh, that our listeners should, uh, should, should look you up for. Well, The Fred Factor is based on a true story of a postal carrier here in Denver, since retired uh, here recently, since the book came out, named Fred Shea, who took a, an ordinary job of putting mail in a box and made it artistry. And if anyone uh, who's listening would like to read the first chapter for free, they can go to fredfactor.com, and they can read the chapter called The First Fred I've Ever Met. But the book's based around four very simple but powerful principles. Number one is that everybody makes a difference. There is no neutrality. You're either adding to or taking away from the experience of others and what you do at work every day. Number two, it's all built on a relationship. That's ultimately what differentiates your product or service from your competitors. Uh, Number three, one of my personal favorites is you can add value to anything you do. It doesn't have to cost a nickel. And that's about using creativity and imagination to enrich the customer experience. And then number four is kind of a personal principle, but that is that you can reinvent yourself every day because, frankly, if you don't reinvent yourself, you'll eventually get bored. Life stops being fun. Business stops being fun. And you bore the people in your life and business around you. Interesting, uh, interesting points and interesting message that I'm hearing from you, both about the, quote unquote, the inspiration, but also you mentioned about how you're continuing to develop from the network that you encounter and that you and that you interact with on a regular basis. What I'm I'm curious again. We're chatting with Mark Sandburn, the uh, the author of the Fred Factor, and and I'm curious what that means for branding. We all have to have an identity. If we're constantly innovating and constantly changing who we are, how do we build a brand and build a reputation in our professional world? Well, I think there's a good way to approach that question. I think you need to continually ask yourself two questions. The first is, what's important now? You know, the old acronym WIN, and that is based on what's going on around you, what do you need to be doing differently, what do you need to focus on for maximum success? The problem is people often don't ask the second question, and that is, what always matters? I think that when you find what your brand is. And by the way, sometimes we do reinvent our personal brand. I have any number of friends who have successfully done that over time. But what we need to stay really focused on and glued to are the principles that never change. You know, the power of relationship and honesty and integrity and competency and character. I mean, it's a long list, but those things don't change, even though circumstance changes. So I always ask two questions. What's important now and what always matters? That's fantastic. Great uh, tips for our listeners. So once again, uh, your website uh, that, uh, that our listeners can uh, download the first chapter of The Fred Factor for free is what? Fredfactor.com. Fredfactor.com. And is there another, books, another book in the works uh, by, by uh, Mark Sandburn? Well, there is. I've written five in the last uh, 11 years, and I'm working on a new book. And if anyone wants to kind of stay up to date on my my latest thinking, blogs, and and ideas, MarkSanborn.com has a great deal of free resources and information because, uh, like you, Shalom, I'm dedicated to uh, building up people in general, but uh, business people and small business people in particular. And uh, always trying to learn. That's what uh, my tip for our listeners this week is. Constantly try to learn from everybody around around you and, and never plateau, never uh, stick to the same level. So Mark, in your spare time, are there any, uh, any either activities or books that from others that you enjoy reading? Well, I'm a voracious reader. I either read or review at least 50 to 100 books a year. But I would say that, uh, you know, in the field of leadership, which is where I focus a great deal, some of the the most practical information has been written by my friend John Maxwell. He's a a prolific but wise uh, leadership development uh, guy. And, of course, um, one of the things I try to share from time to time are good resources that we find in in some of the blogs and tweets and the, the social media posts that I make. But that would be a good jumping off point. <laughs> However, make sure you read uh, my leadership book if that's one of your passions, and that is you don't need a title to be a leader. 
You don't need a title to be a leader. The Fred Factor, Mark Sandburn, uh, you are a wealth of knowledge and information. I do hope our listeners will check you out and stay up to date on your current work, MarkSandburn.com. And really, The Fred Factor is a fascinating, fascinating story, fascinating book, and most importantly, a source of inspiration for all of us that are constantly striving to be better leaders. Mark, we appreciate you coming on the program. We'll check back in with you uh, over the coming months and uh, continue to follow your work. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. All the best. Fantastic. Get Down to Business is brought to you in part by Everett Wealth Solutions, a registered investment advisor and financial planning firm, a fiduciary advisor that helps you create your personal wealth. You can find them at everettwealthsolutions.com or call 708 771-7777, 708-771-7777. And Mark Sandberg spoke at the Tandem HR Client Appreciation Event just a few short weeks ago. You can get in touch with the team at Tandem HR to uh, obtain a snippet of uh, of Mark's talk, get some pictures from the event, and uh, just talk to them in general about your HR needs. You can find them at tandemhr.com or call 630-928-928. 0510. You can also email them simplify at tandemhr.com. Coming up, we're going to check in with executive business coach and award winning Vistage share Dick Smith. You're listening to Get Down to Business. Don't touch the dial. We have so much more information for you. All of you, small business and entrepreneurs, keep it up.